choose to get tested for allergies today? Good. You were required to stop taking antihistamines for a week prior to this appointment. Okay, good. Allergies are pretty common now. I happen to be allergic to a few things, so, including kittens. Um, whenever I come in contact with them, I tend to die from the cuteness. I'm just playing with you. I'm just trying to get you to relax. It's not a big deal. It's an easy test. And in all seriousness, it is really important to get tested, especially if you have asthma or high blood pressure or problems breathing, because being exposed to certain allergens can cause very serious complications down the line. I don't want you to walk outside and all of a sudden the hills are alive with the sound of asphyxiation or pneumonia, anything like that. Okay. I have your questionnaire right here, the one you were given earlier to fill out. I'm just going to run through all these questions and if you think of anything that you might not have written down, I just want you to let me know and I'll just jot it down. Make a note of uh, a memory you might not have remembered or any, any information, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to ask you the questions. You repeat the answers that you have written here. Alright. Number one. What kinds of symptoms do you have? How long have you had them? How long do your symptoms last? Do your symptoms come and go throughout the year? Or do they last all year round? Do your symptoms happen when you are outdoors or indoors? Do they get worse when you are around pets? Do you have any pets? I have two. They're little fur babies. Do you smoke? Does anyone in your family smoke? Do your symptoms keep you from participating in any activities? What about from sleeping at night? And what makes your symptoms better? What types of treatments have you tried? What other medications are you taking? What kind of climate control do you have in your home? Heating, air conditioning, things like that. Fireplace. I wish I had a fire. Do you have any other health conditions, such as asthma or high blood pressure? Do you have any problems with your sense of smell or taste? Do you get better on the weekends and worse when you go back to work? Okay. Very good. And can you think of anything else that you might want to inform me of or ask me? before we begin. If not, I'm just going to start. Okay. So. Alright. Got my handy dandy periwinkle gloves for you today. able to smell without issue. your eyes. 
<laughs> Just look straight ahead at me. Keep your eyes on me, not on the light. You're doing great. Other side. Eyes on me. I'm just watching. Dilation and constriction. Very good. Alright. See the light? I want you to follow it. With your eyes. Very good. Do your eyes water a lot? Okay. Very good. I'm going to just come in one more time. Just look straight ahead. Alright. Now, follow my finger. Again. <laughs> Making you go cross-eyed, I know. One more time. Very good. Alright. I want to... Just come in. And... Palpate. Your... Orbital. Sinuses. Very, very good. All right. I'm going to just have a quick look in your ears. I love these things. They're disposable. It's really handy. All right. I'm just going to come around. Lift up, up and back, and put this right here. Just have a look. Okay, good. Other side. Just come in. Lift up and back. And take a peek. Excellent. All right. Open your mouth for me. Open big. Say ah. Oh. I'm not taking a culture. I'm just having a look at your throat, seeing if there's any inflammation from the drip or anything like that. Ah. Oh. to have a listen to your heart. I'm sorry if it's cold. Just breathe regularly. Okay, and now inhale for me. Again. Very good. Just going to come around the back. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Again. I have the 
bunch of glass vials right here. Let me show you. These have proteins in the form of things that most people are allergic to, such as dog, cat, grass, trees, dust mites, mold, weeds, etc. <laughs> and I'm going to apply and drop. of each onto your back just like that simple little drop and then I'm going to take a plastic instrument I have one right here to show you see it? see how it's sharp at the end? I'm just going to scratch the skin underneath the drop. It's nothing like drying blood. It's nothing like a needle. Just very gently scratching your skin just enough so that the serum goes into the skin. And the first tests we do are going to be controls. One will be a negative control. And this isn't going to do anything. It's just going to show us what a negative response looks like on your body. The second one is our positive control. And this is going to show us what a positive response looks like on your body. And this has histamine in it, which is the same stuff mosquitoes in you that makes you itch or have a welt, irritation, swelling, redness from vasodilation of local blood cells, things like that. Okay, so for our testing, if you are not allergic to something, the test will look like our negative control. And if you are allergic to something, It'll look like our positive control. Okay? Easy, right? Now, after the test, I will wash your back with rubbing alcohol. And it's going to take all the histamines off of your back so that your positive results, if you have any, will fade in approximately 15 to 20 minutes after test completion. So you're not going to be walking around all day scratching your back. If we do find positive results, I'm going to work with you to determine the best course of action to either treat your allergy or prevent future allergic reactions. So you're going to lie down on the table, flat on your stomach. And I need you to do this so that I have a nice flat surface on your back to apply each individual test. And the flat surface is going to prevent every drop of serum from sliding or dripping into a nearby test. We want to keep everything isolated. Got to keep them separated. Okay. I'm going to read you the list Where's my pen? of the allergen panel that I'm testing for today. And if at any point you think of something that you might be allergic to or you think of a memory where you remember coughing or sneezing or being itchy around any of these things, just let me know and I will make a mark next to it, okay? Alright, so we have cat pelt, dog dander, cow's milk, peanut, 
cards, eggs, cod, shrimp, or uh, you might call them prawns, soybean, wheat, dust mites, aspergillus, um, it's a type of mold that you might find in unmaintained bathrooms, a bathroom mold, bahia grass, rye grass, plantain, bermuda grass, kentucky grass, johnson grass, blue grass, orchard grass, red top, Sweet Brunel, Timothy, Ragweed, Pine, Eucalyptus, and last but not least, Feathers. Are you allergic to feathers that you know of? Okay. Does it sound daunting? It's, honest, a pretty easy test. All you have to do is just lie down and relax while I sprinkle your back with protein. Um, I can show you, if you like, if you're having some anxiety, how it's done. I can ask one of my interns to come in and let me demonstrate on them the test so that you can see how everything works. Uh, let me see who's on today. We have... Watson. Uh, he's, he's great. He's gonna be a great doctor one day. Um, for now he's working with us and I can ask him to come in and let me show you how the test works on his back, and then we can start your test. All right? Okay. Okay, so here we have Watson's back. Thank you for volunteering to let us demonstrate on you today, Watson. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing that I would do is clean off the surface area of Watson's back. I just have some rubbing alcohol right here. You can see uh, Watson has a scar. Watson, how did you get that scar? It's a narwhal scar. It's a narwhal scar. He got into a fight with a narwhal. Now just play. He actually got a beauty mark removed. It's really important to have your beauty marks mapped. I'm just making sure his skin is nice and clean. And then I'm going to dry it off. Very good. So now I'm going to make a little grid on his back, and that will show me where I need to place each of the dots of serum. Okay? Just have a little marker. So we're going to make a little negative, positive, dot, and dot. It's going to go across. Dot. 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 And dot. 
and that's our panel. Now I'm going to apply our negative control. Is that cold? Now I'm just quickly going to run through the rest. You falling asleep? And you can fall asleep too if you want to bring the test. I'm going to put this one up here so it doesn't interfere with his narwhal scar. Almost finished. Test a couple more. Last one. Okay. So now I'm going to take that plastic instrument that I showed you before with the sharp end, and I'm just slightly going to scratch, and we use a new plastic instrument each time. doesn't hurt. And then we discard. Discard. After we're done, just piercing the skin. So the serum. goes underneath the skin.
almost finished. And that's it. So this is the finished panel. After 15 minutes, I would come back, measure our positive control with a little ruler. Then I would wait again for a little while. You would just lie here. I'd come back, measure any other positive results, mark down which ones they were, and then I would dab the back to absorb any leftover serum, wash the back, with rubbing alcohol so that all the scratches get cleaned out so you won't be itching all day and it's just that easy it doesn't hurt and you can just relax as the test is taking place so are you ready for yours Fine. of piner. Usually a hikes. Or Christmas. Crisp winter days. Or beautiful spring walk. 